Well, Sammy, have you come down from cloud nine or is it uh, too hard? Oh, not quite yet. It was an uh, amazing night on Friday and yeah, something I won't forget, that's for sure. It was, uh, yeah, just to see everyone so overjoyed and just to have a win like that was something really special. Your 18th game, your best one at that, 24 disposals, three goals. Could you have envisaged you'd achieve something like that even a month ago? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I think uh, about a month ago, yeah, I wasn't expecting this to happen and I don't know, just sort of playing the sort of different games through my head and seeing how it all pan out. It was, um, yeah, it was, I'll, I won't forget um, Friday night for sure. And um, But yeah, I think in saying that, I've got to sort of move on and, and look towards Friday night against the Hawks. It's going to be a pretty special game as well. You made your debut against the Hawks a couple of years back. Um, take a fair bit of confidence from obviously the last three weeks and going in against the Hawks? Yeah, I think so. I think the whole team's sort of building confidence each week. And um, I think we're all just sort of, yeah, t I don't know, taking taking a lot from one another and sort of just feeding off one another. And the, the beliefs just keep keeps on growing. So, we, yeah, we're going to take a lot out of Friday night and um, deliver that against the Hawks on Friday because they're going to be a hard team to beat and we're going to be up for it. Coming in against West Coast a few weeks ago as, as opposed to now, I mean, how, how much different are you as a player with your belief and confidence and your ability to, to know that you can actually play at the highest level and, and really impact the game significantly? I think, uh, yeah, belief's a, a massive thing. I think uh, going into West Coast, it, it was sort of, I had to sort of just build confidence off that. And I don't know, I feel like I, I sort of belong now and um, to have the sort of belief from the other boys as well, it's, it's a pretty cool thing to have. And I don't know, I'm, I'm just taking it each week as, as it comes and I don't know, I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. It's been, uh, I'm really enjoying my footy at the moment. Obviously a proud footy family, uh, you know, both... Uh your granddad and your dad made their finals debut against Geelong as well. I mean, they would have been over the moon, you know, for your game and what you were able to achieve on uh, Friday night. Yeah, they were. They were stoked. Uh, I was with them yesterday just sort of talking about the game and talking about how much it meant to one another. And, um, yeah, it was awesome. I think to see the emotion on grand granddad's face, uh, seeing the win and seeing um, sort of how, how my game panned out, it was uh, pretty awesome to see and how much it meant to him was, was pretty special and something I, I really cherish. What's the week lo uh, look like for you now in preparation for Hawthorne? Yeah, we've just got to reset now. Um, week's just going to be the same as always, the last, same as we've been preparing the last month. Um, yeah, we've got a tough opponent coming up, so it starts today and, yeah, we're going to be ready and hopefully do a lot of research and do a lot of hard, hard yards on the track and hopefully it comes out on Friday. Well, fantastic to see you play so well. All the best for Friday night and we'll look forward to another D's win. Thanks, Bergs. Appreciate it.